Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is a day of an iced coffee because it is hot outside. Now, it's a macadamia nut with coconut milk because I'm lactose. Um, iced coffee from Coffee Bean. Love it. Anyway, it's my favorite. I want to talk about a few things today. I want to talk about what's going on with the Las Vegas real estate market. I'm going to give you those numbers. Um, jobs report just came in a really important one that I think we all need to pay attention to because it could be good news for rates. We might have good news today. And I want to talk about corporate companies buying up real estate. I want to talk about new home builds. So let's get into it. Okay, let's start with the jobs report that came out. Jolt's job report reported that we had a crater, like it cratered. It went, um, it came in at 8.827 and uh, they were expecting 9.5. <laughs> so it cratered. This is the biggest three month drop since the COVID pandemic shutdown. So we may see a dip in the rates today. Now, on my last video, I talked a little bit about how the Fed wants to break the labor market. Like, there's a few things they said that they want to do in order to beat inflation. They want the Fed's fund rate at two to two and a half percent, or at five and a half. So we have an issue there, um, which is why I think we're still going to get another uh, rate hike at uh, 25 basis points. Now. People are pricing in that maybe they won't now because of these job reports. And we'll see where that goes. I doubt it. Um, but part of it is that they wanted to break the, the, the job market. In the last video, I don't think I gave a intelligent enough description, even though I know most of you know what I'm talking about. The few of you that don't, um, I want to explain it for you. There are more jobs than there are people to fill them. This pushes upward pressure on wages. And so what happens is wages go up, prices of goods and services go up, inflation goes up. So, and that's not the only reason why inflation goes up. Real estate's a big part of it because it's a big chunk of pricing going up. And we're gonna get into that more when you see what Las Vegas's current median home price is. Now, so I feel like I've explained that a little better. We can move on. Let's talk about the Las Vegas real estate statistics. Now, right now, as this is July's numbers, July 2023, the median home price is 450,000, and that is up 2%. Um, there was 2014 units sold, that's single family residential, and there was 610 condos and townhomes sold. Now there are 631 available listings, single family. Um, and that's minus 6% from the month before. Now new listings for the month of July are down 10%. That's 2,354 homes. Don't quote me on it. The numbers change. It's not always exact. That's a lot. So we're down 10% in homes. That is more proof that we have an inventory issue. We don't have a lot of inventory. So that is what's keeping the prices up, which is keeping affordability an issue, especially with rates at seven plus percent. Now let's talk about ways of dealing with these issues that we're having. Let me turn my air down in case that's an issue. I don't know if it is, but it's hot. It's hot as shit outside still. I'm so excited for like pumpkin spice latte weather, but like I'm not a pumpkin spice girl. I'm, I'm a this girl and, but I'm about that life though. Like I like it cool out. Anyway, let's talk about how to navigate. Right now I'm going, I've been going into every new build community to find out what they're offering, what their incentives are, because that's where you're going to find the lower rates. All of them have incentives. All of them have stuff on the books that they want to get rid of. 
Now what they did was, a lot of them, they basically bought the money. So they bought a certain amount of money from the bank and they're able to give you that loan now, but that's why you have to use their mortgage company, that loan at a lower discount. So this is where you wanna take advantage of lower rates. If you do, that's where you're gonna get your affordability from. And there are new build communities in all prices across the valley. It's not just million dollar properties. There's ones in the 400s, 500s, 600s. So going new build right now, if you're looking to buy a home, is the way to go. To me, if I'm going out right now, excuse me, and I'm buying a home, I'm going right to new build. Um, not only that, so where was I today? I was somewhere today. I, I literally went somewhere today. Hold on, let me, I'll tell you where I was. Let's talk about it. Tri Point. So I was at Tri Point today and they're offering 3%. So that could be used towards rate buy down. If you don't use it all at rate buy down, you can use it at closing costs. You can use it all at closing costs. You can use it how you want it, that 3%. So that's fantastic. That's a great option. Um, now there's other ways of working through these issues if you want to buy resale. Asking for concessions, having a strong realtor who can ask for concessions. Um, sometimes you're going to get yeses, sometimes you're going to get noes, but it's you know worth a shot. Um, let's see, what are other ways? There are programs for first-time home buyers, um, and it's important to have a good local lender. I wouldn't walk in. I personally wouldn't walk into a big bank and try to get a loan. I would lean into a local broker. Um, I have quite a few wonderful lenders. If you want any names or contacts, please reach out. Um, they're wonderful and they have great programs. They all have different programs. So you don't want to just listen to one lender. You want to weigh your options. And here's the thing, people worry about their credit score, right? If they're going to different lenders running their credit, they give you, the credit uh, bureau gives you a certain period of time, I believe it's either a month or two months, where you can, I think it's a month, where you can test as many as you want. And this is a really important thing to know. So you wanna check it as many times with as many letters as possible and see what they have and where you're gonna get the best rate, where you're gonna get the best deal, um, who's got the best program for you. So I'm happy to help you with giving you those contacts. Um, what's next? Where are we now? Oh, gosh, you know, I'm sorry, but I have to bitch a little bit. So I heard this, 26% of single family homes were bought by investors during the month of June. This bothers me. Okay. They wanna turn us into, it's not they want to, maybe they do they're just greedy these blackrock state street vanguard blackrock owns a lot of shares of both of the other two so it's pretty much blackrock um they want to turn us into a nation of renters in my opinion they don't care they don't care about you they don't care about the little guy they care about their bottom line and they have like upwards of 120 billion in real estate assets. They say that they don't uh, buy single family homes. Their investors do, therefore they do. Um, there needs to be a major change in the corruption that's going on in our country as far as housing goes. Every American, especially millennials, should be able to afford to get a home at a nice three or four percent interest rate. Um, I look forward to the next election because that's what I'm going to be voting on. I'm going to be voting on the economy. I'm going to be voting on who is going to stand up to these 
these monsters and um, who's going to tax the shit out of them? You know, that's, that's what needs to happen for, you know, for all this farmland they want to buy up and for all this. Um, and listen, and I am, I'm pro, you know, capitalism to a st- certain extent, but when it becomes monopolizing and control, that's where you lose me. Um, and we need somebody to stand up to this because ultimately you have to take care of your people. The people have to come first. And I swear I should run for something. I think I should run for something. I don't know what, but like, (laughs) I just get so frustrated. This is the stuff that stresses me out. So, you know, I just feel, I just truly feel that every, every family should be able to have a home, have the, the, the American dream and not become a nation of renters. It drives me nuts. So that's my rant for the day. I had to get that off my chest. Um, yeah, but anything else, you know, feel free to throw things in the comments that you want to talk about maybe on our next chat. I don't like to jump in, like do the studio thing. I don't need to. I sit in the car, I have my coffee and we chat about it. You know, we chat about life. We chat about things. It doesn't have to be such a to do, you know? So we're going to keep it like this. And sometimes we're going to have guests in the car to talk to us. And I think it's fun that way. Like it's more casual. I, when I'm in a studio, I feel like I'm on my toes a little bit. So when I'm in the car, I'm way more natural. And I, so I think it works that way. Um, I promise you though, my like marketing when it comes to like my properties, isn't like, you know, simple like this. It's very, very high end and amazing. Um, but like, this is just the way I like to do it. When I talk to my people, I want us to be able to talk to each other. Like we're actually talking to each other. Like we're, you know, in the car, you know, in life, just like chatting it up. So, um, anyway, I love you guys. I really appreciate you watching. Please subscribe and follow. Um, I appreciate the support. All my information is in the description if you know anyone who wants to buy or sell real estate now or in the future please send them my way my information is in the description and i love you all very much 